it's Kat from Whimsy Cat DIY Home Decor. Today I have a short video for you, but an interesting one. Uh, you may remember this chest. This was my first furniture flip and my first YouTube video. Uh, so it's a small chest that I did in a midnight blue uh, with chalk paint and then I waxed over it and I did some distressing on it. And I really like this color because I've done several other pieces in this exact same color. So anyway, I had posted this chest on Facebook a while ago and it sold almost immediately. Well, that same buyer follows me on Facebook and so whenever I post something, she's usually one of the first people to respond. Either that she wants to buy it or she'll ask questions or she's even asked me to do a custom order for her so far. So recently, if you watched my video about the cedar chest storage chest that I remade. I did it in the exact same color. The only difference is I used a transfer that was gold and it was Paris inspired. And so the outcome was just beautiful. I fell in love with that chest myself and almost kept it. Uh, but when I posted it on Facebook, she was the first person to respond and wanted to buy it. But then she had a question after she got it home. She wanted to know if I could take this chest that she had purchased earlier and do a similar transfer on here uh, so it would match with the piece she just bought. She was planning on putting the, both of them into a guest room. And so I thought, sure, that would be great. And so that's all we're gonna do with this piece. Uh, I think that's really cool that she's asked me to do this. So we're going to use um, a similar transfer. I'll show it to you in a moment when we get to start with the transfer process. So we don't have to do any sanding, uh, really any painting. We will seal the transfer once it is applied to ensure that it doesn't lift but other than that this is a pretty easy flip now the second thing I will do is the hardware that I put on here is more of a silver uh, color and so I am gonna remove this hardware I will use it I'm gonna spray paint it with the Krylon gold leaf paint to um, give it a gold finish that way it'll match the transfer very well and gold on this color is just a really nice uh, finish so I'm going to share that with you today so um, give me just a moment to get the transfer prepared and we'll get started on this one thanks so much for being with me today okay everyone we're back and this is the transfer we're going to use it is redesigned decor transfer in somewhere in france this is the same transfer i used on the storage chest so uh, i think she'll really like it so it'll match up really well with the other piece so um i'm thinking i'm going to do it on the two middle drawers uh, that way the top drawer is relatively smaller it has a bit of a, a decor uh, piece on it and then the bottom drawer uh, will just kind of balance it so the transfer is actually on the two drawers in the middle so let's see what we've got I love this transfer set this was not expensive there were three kind of separate transfers in this I think I paid $29 for it um, so not bad at all and like I said, it's really good quality and I've really kind of fallen in love with this transfer set. So this is the piece I have left. If you can see that, so I can get it all in the shot. So we're gonna have to do some cutting to make sure that it's gonna fit on these drawers. These drawers really are not that big. So, I'm thinking, I was hoping, hmm, that's how I want to do this. I think we might have to cut right here between the Paris and this lettering. We'll just cut right through there. And then on the very next drawer, we'll put the Paris and the floral leaf. That way it'll kind of match up. It'll look like it went together nicely. So 
I'm just going to take a minute and I'm going to cut that. I'm also going to wipe down the drawers. Just wipe these down so there's no dust or anything on there that might interfere with the transfer. I'll move that out of the way. Also, when you're working with these transfers, it's so important. There's a white backing. Keep that white backing on there until you're absolutely ready to apply the transfer. If not, this can roll up and really mess up your transfer. Guess how I learned that? Personal experience. Last uh, transfer I did, I mistakenly uh, did not ensure that that white piece stayed on the whole time and it ended up ruining part of the transfer. So learn from my mistakes. All right, that's nice and clean. Now I'm just going to cut that transfer. It's not going to be a straight cut. So, let's get this glass jar and sit it on this side. We're going to keep that down. It's not going to be a, a straight cut, so I've got to be careful, and then it's got to be lined up really well uh, with the next drawer. So, here we go. Gonna get around this just slowly. Make sure I've got everything. I like using the dotted lines when I can because that helps me make sure that I get it on the piece nice and straight, but that's not an option this time. There we go. We'll put this second piece someplace safe where it will stay together until we're ready to use it. Okay, so let's get this drawer out of the way. Got my burnishing tool. It comes in the package with the transfers. All right, let's move this over a bit where you can see it and I can see it. I hope you can see that. Maybe we can put the camera down a little bit more, scroll in a little bit more for you. Okay, so. Make sure everything is on the drawer. I think that looks good. I'm going to use this dotted line here at the top as my guide. I'm going to try to put that even with the top of the drawer. That way I'll know that it's going to be nice and straight. So, and you can tell it's probably about a half inch on each side. So let's get that done. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna take that white backing off. That white backing is what protects your transfer, the lettering, because once you apply this, it's on there. So, so I'm going to try to line that up with the top <gasps> as best I can. Come over here, make sure it's nice and lined up. I think I have to move this over some. Okay. Looks good to me. Hopefully it looks good to you. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press it down. Now, once we've pressed it down like this, 
There is no going back. All right, so we've got it nice and in place. And what I love about these transfers is you really can't mess them up. I mean, all you have to do is when you're removing the transfer, if something hasn't applied, hasn't stuck to your piece, just lay the plastic back down and go over it with your burnishing tool. Really pretty easy. And I, I myself fell in love with these gold uh, transfers. So I'll probably find at some point another opportunity to use these. <laughs> they sell really well. I've gotten probably more feedback on the pieces that I've done with the navy and the transfer than any of my pieces so far. So it's very popular, at least in my market, it's very popular. We're ready to line up the second drawer. So I'm just gonna put them side by side. I'm going to take the second part of our transfer and just sit it here and kind of position it. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and we'll take the white backing off of it. Put that over there. Can we lay it down here again? Can you see what we think? I think that looks pretty good. Um, I'll go. Just want to measure it and see. So 24, so about 12 inches is the middle. So I think just eyeballing it, I did it pretty close. Pretty close. Okay, that looks good to me. Just make sure it's straight. All right, we're just gonna press it and we're gonna go. All right. Like I said, no going back now. Okay, we're back and we are ready to seal the transfer in. I really think it looks nice on this piece. I'll be really excited to see it once we've put the hardware back on. Because that gold hardware is just going to really make this pop. But uh, to seal it, I'm going to use this polyvine. It's a wax varnish. I just like it. It's very thin. It's really easy uh, to use and it's water-based so it's easy to clean up out of my brush. So typically I just pour a little bit of what I am going to be using into a bowl. some in there there we go okay so I've poured some in my bowl and I've got my brush I try to use the same brush for my top coat so there's never any paint in them and we're just gonna put a really thin layer of sealer of top coat across this transfer and this will just make sure it doesn't peel we certainly don't want that to happen I'm just going nice, long, even strokes. And another reason I really like this top coat is it dries really fast. Uh, probably, I think the directions say 30 minutes, but 30 minutes to an hour, I think, is what the directions say. But my experience has been always within 30 minutes, I can come back and continue working. But we're just going to put one coat, just one even coat, just like I said, nice, smooth, 
brush strokes. Try to go clear across it with one stroke. There we go. I think that's going to look really nice. Okay, let's do the second drawer. I think I'm going to have to do a piece for me because <laughs> I really like this kind of midnight sky color with this gold transfer and gold hardware. I just think it looks really vintage but elegant. Yeah, it looks very elegant to me. And I think it fits in with really any decor that you may have in your home. So uh, this is a good choice if you can find a piece that you like and you want to try this technique out. I think you'll like it. And like I said, in my market, this is a seller. I never have to worry about um, doing a piece with this kind of combo. It will sell almost immediately. Sometimes I think maybe my price isn't high enough. <laughs> but you know, I am out to certainly make a profit, but I'm also out to kind of build a client base and um, have fun. You know, I want to have fun. I mean, when your job is something that you enjoy and you're having fun, it's, it's not really work. It's more of my, a hobby that makes money for me. So I'm all about it. All right, that looks really nice. So what I think I'm going to do, just to ensure consistency, is I'm going to go ahead and put a coat on both of these drawers as well. And that way uh, it will all match up. It'll have all the same finish. It'll look really nice when we're done. So we'll go ahead and we'll let this dry and then we'll go get the hardware. I'll get the hardware put on and I'll let you see the final um, project. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've put the hardware on and the top coat is dry, so we have a finished product. I think it looks beautiful. Let me know what your thoughts are. But this color, this uh, midnight sky with this gold is just one of my favorite uh, combos that go together. And I think this piece will match the other piece um, the storage chest that I did just perfect. It'll just be beautiful in the same room together. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it at the top at the end of this one and you can check it out. But let me know what you think. If you like this hardware and you like this, this paint and this uh, transfer, and I will link everything that I use as always in the description below. I love this transfer. It's not sponsored, um, but I use the redesign transfers a lot along with the IOD transfer. So I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video and this is just a really quick short video and I'm going to be doing some additional short videos just to kind of connect with you, share some information, uh, get a lot of questions even to my email address. So I want to do like weekly, just 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute videos to really respond to some of your questions. So if there's anything you'd like to talk about, hear about, please drop it in the comment below. If there's a certain kind of piece or color you'd like to see me do in the future absolutely drop that below but I really appreciate you guys taking the time to hang out with me if you haven't subscribed yet I hope you will hit that subscribe button below and the notifications so you know each and every time I upload a new video and if you like this video please do hit the like button that just helps my channel grow and we are growing I'm so excited and it's because of all of you so thank you for your time and I do appreciate all of you each and every one of you so stay tuned because the next video we're going to do is a desk and we're going to do something really different with that. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Until then, take care. Have a blessed day.